previously on Instant Influencer. Hi sisters, James Charles here, and today I have something extra special for you. Last year, I started the search to find the next beauty superstar. Lights! And last week, six artists started the competition. Ashley, congratulations, you are the winner of the first compact challenge. Oh my god! There were highs, eyes, and taste, and edit. Our celebrity guest judge is Paris Hilton. Oh my god. You guys are hot. And there were lows. This looks a little bit more simplistic. You need a little bit of work with the details. But in the end, you have been eliminated. Only one can become an instant influencer. Good morning, you guys. And welcome to Instant Influencer week number two. It is currently... <gasps> 5.05 in the morning, the sun is not even up yet. We are not in our normal studio. We are actually here at the hotel that all the contestants are staying at. And that is because we're about to give them a little bit of a rude awakening with today's compact challenge. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Benny. Rise and shine. Good morning. Did you just wake up? I, yeah, I'm literally like in underwear and everything. Throw on some pants. Let's go. Okay. I'm wondering, what does James have up his little bathrobe sleeve? Cause, child, I'm tired. So I see everybody in their little bathrobes, and I'm excited because honestly, I think we're going to a spa. Right? Right? All right, you guys, I know you probably hate me right now, but I promise that there's a good reason behind today's compact challenge. As an influencer, getting ready fast is a very vital skill. You guys are gonna be challenged with getting fully red carpet ready in only 30 minutes. I'm really nervous. I have never gotten ready in 30 minutes. <laughs> okay, let's go. It always takes me at least an hour, so this is just gonna be a little tough for me. <laughs> let's go! Don't worry, you guys. I've never been in a car accident. Ah! Let's go. Come on, come on. Your 30 minutes starts right now. I'm running to this Ulta Beauty closet so that I can get the products that I need and go back to my desk and push out a bomb look. Ah, because I know that I can get this done and I know that I can win this challenge. I think I'm literally just gonna apply my foundation with my fingers because I do not want to waste any time. I have never gotten ready in 30 minutes in my entire life, so my best strategy is to literally just slap on my base so I can focus on my eyes. I'm going to let my eyes do all the talking from here on out, nothing else. Way too early for this. Oh my God, way too much, way too much. It's joking, you can never have too much. Getting ready 30 minutes isn't a crazy concept, but a red carpet event? I have no idea how to do that type of glam in 30 minutes. Okay, concealer not coming through. What the f is this shade? Oh, no. Oh my God, gray the house. Oh, please come through with the powder. <sighs> James knows how to clock some bad makeup, so the gray contour is definitely making me feel a little gray on the inside. I am a pink bitch. I'm sweating so bad. I'm literally just rushing and doing whatever I can to get it done. That's good enough for now. Ah! I look like Kermit the Frog right now. Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have less than one minute remaining. Oh my God. Just need gloss, just need gloss, just need gloss. Where's lip gloss? You better stay on. I'm really happy with the precision in my makeup, so I'm feeling really confident. I love the way it turned out. Five, four, three, two, one. Make them down. We're done. Stop. Oh my God. <laughs> 30 minutes is up and Benny sticks out the most. He looks flawless. His looks so good. I'm getting a little bit nervous. Maybe this look was not the right call. Okay, you guys can go ahead and get dressed quickly. We're running to an event because you're running late. And then you guys can come back here and we'll take a look at your makeup looks up close and personal. Hello, you guys. Hello. Come on over, come on over. 
I'm literally sweating. I'm like dying. I look over and I'm like, Ashley looks flawless. Benny has perfect skin. And then mine looks like crap. I don't know how this is gonna pan out. Welcome back. We're gonna start with Kaylin, the winner of last week's challenge. Pressure's on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, tell me about this look. I really wanted to focus on making the skin good, and then I just wanted to make sure that lashes were on because you have no makeup on, like lashes can do you so much. Yeah. Then I did peach tone shadow for my blush and in the eyes, and then I just covered the lash glue with blue. Yeah, I think it looks super good. I love the pop of blue. It really brings out your eyes so gorgeously. My one note for you would actually be in the foundation looking a little bit cakey, especially underneath the eye area. In regards to the lashes, I would have loved to see a more simple lash or actually trimming off the last like spike oh. of them because they're kind of pulling down your eyes a little bit. But overall, you look beautiful as always. Thank you. Indigo, Hi. moving on. Hello, sister. Hi. I am known for like being like bright, crazy, and out there. So I did translate that into this look by doing like a little graphic liner and a pop of color. Yeah. Just being me. I think it looks really good. I love that you did a pop art. Yes. Like type vibes, yes. which I think is super, super cool. I love the pop of yellow as well. I think it really is a nice contrast to the black the outfit. Black. Eyebrows, I think, could have been a little bit cleaner just in terms of Yeah, I didn't even do them at all. Yeah. Okay. Well, luckily you have thick brows to right. with, but yeah. that can definitely be something that comes up in photos. But for, as sure. for the eyes, I love the look. Thank you. Moving on to Benny. Hi. Hello, girl. Hi. You look beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay, tell me about this look. So I wanted to match with my outfit because I love pink. It's like my favorite color. Yes. And I wanted to kind of symbolize it with my um, glowy base. And if I was to go out and I had no time, yeah. I would put this on and go out and slay. Yeah. I think this look is very, very cohesive and well put together. Sometimes simple is better. Yes. My note for you, your inside of your lash is popping yeah. off a little bit. So I would love to see just a little bit more time taken with that. I actually have on um, like an eye condition where like my eye waters a lot, this eye. Yeah. So the eyelash kind of like popped out. If the inner corners are watery, sometimes what I do is I'll just focus my lash on the outer portion to really get that lifted look and just really focus a lot of mascara on the inside to avoid any lifting. Yeah. And then as well, this highlighter that you have on is beautiful. It's gonna photograph well, but in person it does look a little bit intense. Mm -hmm. I would love to see you try to soften up the highlight and contour just a little bit mm -hmm. for more of like a natural look. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Great job. All right, Ashley, tell me about this look today. I wanted to do something that was like borderline classic and trendy on the eyes and in my comfort zone. Same with my lips. I feel like red lips are classic and they look like you've done more just yeah. in general. I think this look looks incredible. It is very impressive how symmetrical you were able to get this in a short period of time. I think that the eye look and just the lashes are really doing a great job of lifting your face upwards. Thank my you. one note for you is that your contour is looking a little bit gray toned. Oh my gosh, I know. Okay. Yeah, totally understand that. Totally watch for that. Everything else looks really, really great. Great job. Thank you, James. Gabriel, tell us about your look. So today, I just wanted to do something a little simple and really focus on the graphic eyeliner and popped in some color and some lashes and did the rest of the face. I really like this graphic liner. My one note for you would be that since you do have a little bit more of hooded eyes, if somebody takes a photo of you, they're not going to see it. Right now, I can really only see your lashes in the bottom half of the circle. The upper half is getting lost. But when it comes to being at events, sometimes making those choices to go simpler is a better choice because it's gonna photograph and look more cohesive overall. Right. That being said, it's pretty impressive to get it fully symmetrical. And I would have loved to see you focus a little bit more on the base and the skin rather than a beautiful eye look, but it looks great. Thank you. Great job. All right, you guys, I know you woke up very early this morning and I really appreciate you putting these looks together. Two of you guys really, really impressed me. Ashley, I love that you use techniques that you're familiar with in order to create a successful look. Benny, your look today I think was beautiful and this is what we want to see. Both of you two did an amazing job today, but it's really about who could show up at an event unclockable. The winner of today's compact challenge is Ashley. Congratulations. Two challenges in a row, baby. This means you are going to get, once again, an advantage in today's elimination challenge, which is going to come in very, very handy. Now that you guys had to get glammed up in a hurry for today's elimination challenge, oh, I'm so excited. We're going to be doing a style of makeup that can't exactly be rushed. Drag. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. I am so excited. I'm nearly a drag queen. Okay. Drag makeup has had an undeniable impact on the beauty influencer community. For today's challenge, I really want to pay homage to them. I did my first drag transformation about four-ish years ago now, and it was not great, but I've been practicing a lot ever since. We can learn so, so much from drag queens as influencers. They teach us about creativity, 
performance art, quick-witted humor, and most importantly, being able to connect with an audience. So for this elimination challenge, you artists will have three hours to create and execute your ultimate drag transformation from the neck up. I wanted to bring in an expert for a little bit of advice. I just got chills. When I see Trixie Mattel walk in, I am so floored. Oh <laughs> I cannot believe that a drag legend is going to be judging this challenge. Please welcome oh, no one of the way. best drag queens in the entire world, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race All Star Season 3, also one of the funniest people I have ever met, Trixie Mattel. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Trixie, thank you so much for being here today. I am so excited to have you. Of course. I'm, I thought we're here to drag someone, right? Oh, for sure, <laughs> absolutely. That is the goal right. at the end of the day. Yeah. Trixie, what do you want to see from them in this transformation? Well, being a successful drag queen from YouTube is something I am an expert in. Period. <laughs> so I want to see bold choices. I want to see bright colors, clean lines. I want audiences to see you from space. Just go big. <laughs> or go home because somebody will be eliminated at the end of the challenge today. So, Ashley, as today's compact challenge winner, that means you get an advantage in today's challenge. You will get 15 minutes of a head start, and you will also get a private consultation with Trixie to make sure that your look is going in the right direction. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. To have this advantage with Trixie is priceless, and to be able to talk to her about this and actually bounce some ideas off her beforehand is absolutely incredible. Okay, that means while Ashley is starting, everybody else will be chilling on the couch, thinking, hopefully, about the look that you're gonna do with 15 minutes less time than Ashley has. All right, artists, remember to blend, but don't blend in. Ashley, your time starts right now. Go! This is gonna be the shortest 15 minutes of your whole life. Okay. Having a drag legend giving me this consultation is so special. A lot of the girls I know who live their lives as women and then they do drag, they really push it that extra up to 11 to make it. I'm a woman in drag and I'm somehow like otherworldly in a way. Okay. Like maybe experiment with like more color. Otherworldly. This is so agonizing, the time. <gasps> wow, 15 minutes feels like forever. You could get this one or this one, and you could put your hair in a bun, and you could attach it as the pony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Because if you do one bun, you can attach it. I didn't have... even think about that, because oh I'm like God. so concerned about my hair. If you're trying to be a different person too, your hair's your giveaway. Right. Don't know who that is. But if you do one bun and attach that, and then use like flowers or something to do like a, to camouflage to cam the... Yeah, cam yeah. What wig do you think you guys are gonna go for? I'm going for the pink one. Me too. It's going to complement the idea I have. Same. Realistically, everybody's going for the pink one because it's the cutest. I have an idea because there's this fashion doll that I own and it, that image in my mind is just perfect. I'm sorry, Benny, but I'm getting that pink wig. Do you have any other questions? No, I, I want to get started. You. I'm like, I want to keep going, but I will like... You're going to be great. I am so happy that I won the compact challenge because there's so many different styles of drag. I need color. And after talking to Trixie, I have a really clear vision of what I'm gonna do. I'm thinking blue skin, extraterrestrial. I'm gonna go totally different species. Oh, it's not working. A brush. All right, artists. Five, four, three, two, one. Go! Ah. Yes. <laughs> oh, you're so beautiful. Wig snatched, literally. Sorry, Benny. Him. In this drag transformation, I really wanted to do a anime-inspired, super pink, super bright look. So I'm going for a very kawaii anime sad girl aesthetic because I really just want this to be an emphasized version of myself. Like I really want some anime blush going on here. I'm very familiar with drag. However, I've never done drag on myself. So this is gonna be interesting. So, so, so cute. Girl, I'm really pissed off. I'm sorry, but I really am. Why, what's up? I was going for that wig. Because Indigo took the wig, I have to change my look and modify it. This is horrible. Whatever. Well, still gonna beat him. Medium deep. 
the sauce. I can't. My idea is to take neon face paint, give a little streak in the hair, some pigtails, and make it look really cute. Quickly dry it out. Mike, it was off. This shit's about to be risky and it's all or nothing. Let's go. I have never done drag, but I want people to know that I'm not just some smoky eye artist. Like I can also do tough work. Okay. Are you gonna do a crazy color or no? Yeah. You are? So I'm taking an extreme risk by doing a full pink face inspired by Trixie Mattel. So if I don't do a good job, it could go south real quick. A drag queen would kill me if my brows were not laid down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. For my drag transformation, I want to present myself as a lioness. I feel like the main thing that's gonna make it or break it is really portraying that drag eye. <sighs> Not only doing them themselves, but making sure that that brow is flat. <sighs> I always like trippy things, so I'm gonna do four feline eyes on my cheeks and a pink skin tone. That's just gonna have to do. I'm gonna draw my lips into the shape of a cat mouth to make this a feline. As soon as I start applying the watercolor, I realize that was a huge mistake. Oh my god, this isn't working. It's patchy the house, it's not layering. Every time I try to build it up, it's moving. My heart starts beating fast. No. Oh my god. I have to start over. Shit. That paint was not the move. I thought I had an advantage with the time, but now that I've been set back, that advantage is no longer. And now I'm back at square one. And if this don't work, we're just gonna have to move on. More powder, the better. All right, you guys, it looks like you have about one hour and 20 minutes remaining. I love all of you so much, but unfortunately, one person will be going home at the end of today's challenge, so bring it. Bye. If it makes you feel better, I'm going home today, too. <laughs> I'm like the only one doing like a natural skin tone. Natural skin tone. It's natural. <laughs> it's I natural. am. natural. At this point, I'm kind of questioning my makeup look just because everybody else is so out there, so I'm really going to have to bring it in terms of detail. Indigo is starting. It's a very beautiful look. It seems like he's a little bit snail speed. So if he can he's pick up the pace, slowly. I think it's gonna be a really pretty look because his, um, of everybody, I think his, his face is definitely successfully reshaped. Yeah, his contour's in the right place, his jawline contour's in the right place, his like shading and everything looks good. Yeah. It's crazy that he's choosing to do a sad look when every day I put on makeup to cover a sad <sighs> look. <laughs> Ooh, I'm about to fight my hair. Oh, what's our drag names, you guys? Vanilla Clam. Mine is gonna be Smash Me. Issa Woman. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, I know my drag name. What's your drag name? Do Too Much. Unity. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. You're so cute. Since you've been here, you've been like, I just love the animals. I know, I do. <laughs> I am the animals. I'm the trees girl. Oh my God, stop, you're gonna cry. Benny put his eyebrows pretty high up like way above his natural brow, which is one of the mistakes that people make a lot when they first do drag. So I'm really hoping that his liner application is large to fix that space gap. Yeah, I agree. That looks great, Benny. Thank you. I have never fully painted my face like I am today, and I really wanna make sure that it looks flawless. I'm watching her keep layering product on, and I can tell it's because she's not happy with the base. But yeah. if the base isn't working, more product isn't really good. Right, it's like if you build a house on a bad foundation. Okay, this is going south. 
Do I stay here and do I keep trying to make this product work? Or do I take off this face and do I start parts of this over again? Don't even look at the clock. <laughs> <laughs> I made the decision to take it off, and I'm hoping that's the right decision. You have to do something about these eyes. I feel so stressed. Oh. These eyes need to stop watering right now, because right now I look like a hot mess. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this look together because my eyes are watering so badly. My eyes are like my worst enemy right now. So, I'm covering my watering eyes with neon tears. Okay, now I need lashes. I think what really sets me apart from everyone else's drags look is that not only is my skin a different color, but I'm more feline than human. I really think that I had this one in the bag. <laughs> Right now, I am so nervous. I really, really want to do a good job tonight. Oh my god, I actually look like a little anime character right now. Ooh, oh you do look cute. Kawaii. How much time do we have left? 33 minutes. 30? Oh, hell no. Where did the time go? Like, seriously. <laughs> I'm like running out of time. I'm a little bit freaking out, but I want to add some detail to my four eyes on my cheeks so that they look like eyes and not just white spots in my face. This is your 10 minute time call. Ooh. And not a drag queen 10 minutes, which is 40 minutes. This is the real thing. 10 minutes. Oh, that's dope. Oh, these brows are not even friends. Honestly, I'm not too experienced in doing brows, much less a drag brow. They can be my downfall very quick. The face that this shows is like how I feel right now with these brows. I'm scared of the position of the brows because if I do this wrong, I can look frightened or confused instead of sad. At this point, I don't got no time. I just want to get this over with because I want something to present. Hello. Oh my gosh, hi. hi Trixie. Hello, this is your five minute warning. Oh my God. And I did all of this this morning in only four minutes, so I think you should be okay. And remember, if you don't have perfume on, you are not a woman. One minute. And then we're gonna need you to put down your number two pencils and turn in your Scantron. Ten seconds of the clock, I still don't have my wig on. At six seconds, I hurriedly put some wig tape on and I shoved that on my head. Five, four, put some glitter on. Three, two, one, stop. Whether you were in drag or not, you are now in drag. All right, I'm gonna go get James and Norvina and I'll see you at judging. Bye. 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 Oh, wow. I think I got goosebumps. We're doing a drag show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I want to introduce you guys to our guest judges. We have the legendary makeup icon, Norvina, president and creative director of Anastasia of Beverly Hills, and also the skinniest legend in the entire world, Trixie Mattel. <laughs> You all look beautiful from afar, but I know this drag makeup challenge was absolutely insane. You had three hours to create these looks and show us what drag means to you. Looking in front of me, I see five insane makeup looks that I'm yes. so excited to dig into. Gabriel, we're gonna see your look first. The rest of you guys can take a seat. Hello, hello, hello. Talk to us about this makeup look. Well, I've kind of had a drag persona. Her name is Unity. She's like an intergalactic, not from this type of world. And that's what I feel like Unity is. Awesome. How was this makeup process for you today? Very intense. I almost didn't finish. 
But in the end, it came through, and I'm very satisfied how it came out. That is I so drag, though. And, yeah. <laughs> like the music is starting, you're like, I'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> it never gets easier. Well, I think this look turned out really cool. I like the overall concept, and I like your choice of using a pink foundation. This is going to stain you tomorrow, so be ready for that. <laughs> I think the cat upper lip is actually really working. Yeah, I think it looks sick. Really seems like the real anatomy of yeah. his face. It, the shading in that looks really, really good. Yeah. I think, especially since you have these chunky, peasy lashes on your eyes, if you had 10 minutes to add small lashes around the fake eyes, they would have looked so much realer. Mm -hmm. That was actually an intention of mine. I just was running out of time. The eyes impressed me the most, and I would have loved to see that eye throughout and just creating a massive large eye to tie in with the little eyes, I think it would have been really trippy. Yeah. Thank so you. maybe next time. Overall, I think time management is something that is of the essence. This look is great, but it could have been even greater. Thank you. All right. I'm obsessed with this look, Kaylin. I think it turned out so good. Thank yeah. you. And I'm not going to lie, of everybody here, I thought you were full struggle bus. I was a little. <laughs> it didn't start off good, period, and yeah. you know this. Yeah, I made a decision like more than halfway through that I needed to like redo my face. So I took alcohol and just wiped it. I wanted to nail it. This was my first drag look ever. Trixie is actually inspired by you. You did a campaign where you had the pink face and I- I did that myself, so I you feel did? you. Yes. I feel amazing. Like I was able to express myself. I like went so far out of the box and it was so much fun. Obviously you look absolutely stunning. I'm staring at the brows and that separation and the, how they're oh, a little right bit- Oh, right here? A little bit shorter than I would have liked them. You're right, we do lose the brow a little bit. Yeah. I think the flowers are beautiful. I would have loved for you to paint some flowers on your face, just kind of tie oh, it together. Yes. You know, a little mix, but it's beautiful regardless. Okay. You turn this out, you whore. <laughs> Thank you. Ashley, tell us about this look that you created today. I wanted to take it up a notch and just turn myself into a completely different species. Cool. So extraterrestrial, out of this world, otherworldly was a term that Trixie used, so. I could tell you had your wheels turning, so I don't think I definitely had to give you much info other than the wig turned out great. I had no idea what I was gonna do with my hair, so that was like tea. Ashley, I think this look is extremely successful. Thanks. Everything about this is super, super cool. The concept of just being extraterrestrial is very, very apparent. You look like you came out of the movie Avatar. Like I think the blending of the skin tone is very impressive as well. I'm assuming you use creams. I actually grabbed a watercolor first, yeah. and as soon as I realized the consistency was becoming patchy, I wiped it off completely, yeah. and I grabbed cream. And it was way more successful, and I actually set it with a blue shade in your palette. So Beautiful. to make it, you know, just like matte. So your 15 minute advantage turned into it a zero literally, minute advantage. Yeah, I was down to the minute. I'm no stranger to a strong nose contour. <laughs> I'm aware that my nose looks like a white worm and chocolate pudding, and I'm fine <laughs> with it. But I would say for you, if I could have like turn back time, I would have like, probably not gone full black because right in the light, you really do see, like, do you guys see the little little hyphen, yeah. little black hyphen yeah. right in the middle? If you went just blue. Right. What I really like about your look is that beautiful pink lip. I would have loved, loved for your lid to incorporate pink crystals oh, and for a pink, a pink a crystal slay. under eye liner here because what's happening is the lashes are huge, your eyes are dark and I'm losing your eye. Wow, I didn't even think about that. Thank you. All right, Indigo, tell us about this look. So the second I saw this wig, I knew that I had to do something that was like very anime inspired, very like kawaii and howdy and sad, just to like, reflect on like Indigo himself, which is usually very dry and sarcastic. So if I were a female, I'd want to like take that to like an emotional side of yeah. me. So that's what inspired it. Well, I really like this look. It feels like you have an Instagram filter on your face, which is super <laughs> cute. I love the drawn-on Band-Aid and the tears. It's a really cute style. The brows, they should have been a little bit more well thought out. Yeah. Also, overall, if the brow was a little bit more cohesive, this could have looked really, really chic. Yeah. And I think you should have leaned into the pop art movement a little bit more. The Band-Aid is the best part of this makeup because it seems like that's the only part of the makeup you were sure of. I'm sorry, I need to breathe before I cry. I think I would have changed my eyebrows. Yeah. I'm so sorry, I really don't want to cry right now. It's okay. Um, I really had higher expectations of myself, so I'm not angry at the critiques, because I agree with them 100%, and that's why I'm upset. I, I feel that. I think it's pretty obvious you're very artistic. You need to trust yourself. I think you felt like you had to be cutesy, and you, inside, really want to be very artistic and avant-garde, and I think you should do it. 
Thank you. I will, I will do that in the future. Yeah, absolutely. Benny, come on forward. Hey. <laughs> oh, here's the twirl! Yeah. All right, tell us about this look. One of my dolls that's in my collection is all full of neon colors, and I wanted to bring that to life. But then once I started doing like the eyeshadow and everything, my eyes started watering really, really bad. Yeah. So I had to compromise because as an influencer and a makeup artist, you have to make it work. You can't just give up. So I decided to take my emotions and put it into my artwork. So I took the neon paint and I made it as a splatter tear to kind of show all of the emotions I had inside. And I also did the flowers to represent me blooming as a person. Thank you for this look. I think this is super, super cool. The colors going on here are so bright and vibrant and I love how everything really pairs well together. Also, so great idea to add the cream color into the hair. With the wig, I thought that was oh, yeah. a super, super unique I thing. wanted to tie it in because I feel like it makes it more cohesive. Yeah. One note that I would love to give you, there's a lot going on here. I would have loved to see either the flowers or the tears because I think they're kind of competing yeah. for the space on the bottom of your face right now, and it makes it feel a little bit less cohesive. I think makeup-wise, it could have been smarter to do without one. I think that conceptually, this is my favorite look. It's so beautiful. I love a trippy, neon, kind of acid Barbie look. That is so beautiful. Symmetry would have made this look gag-worthy. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, these are the best, I think, brows of the night. You are so petite. I think this is almost too many lashes on the top. Don't, oh. listen, <laughs> I'm Trixie Mattel and I'm saying it to the camera, maybe too many lashes on top. Because I almost, I can't see your eye makeup. I really yeah, can't. Yeah, I, I was thinking that too, because I do have like a really pretty cut crease with- and I um, only literally later. just saw it just now. They're beautiful, but for a drag, oh my gosh, you need that 55th row at the Hamburger Mary's to see this, you know? Yes, definitely oh. understand. Okay, we have a lot to discuss right now, I feel like. Yeah. Like, I was thoroughly impressed. Thoroughly oh. impressed. They're good. It's tough with drag because the looks are also different. It is apples and oranges. It's like, <laughs> those looks aren't even the same, you know? Kaylin, yeah, makeup yeah. turned out to be, in my opinion, one of the best looks. Yeah. One of Kaylin. the things that I really did not like is how shiny her base was. Also, her base and her highlight around the jawline was a good three shades lighter. You could tell she set this part with a, like a pink eyeshadow and didn't set this. Correct. They don't look like the same color. Yeah. No. But I think it did end up being a really successful look. Let's talk about the other pink look, which was Gabriel. It turned out good. I'm gonna stop you right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do not think this look turned out good. Really? No, girl. She looks like a windburn Mrs. Claus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These eyeballs could not have been more of an afterthought. On the flip side, I think that the base is really nice. Yeah. Do you feel his highlighting and contouring changed the shape of his face at all? No. And to be honest, I might not even have known he was a cat. But I completely disagree on the cat part. I think the mouth looks really, really good. No, I think the lip is the most successful part of the makeup. I agree. I told him that to his face. Okay, who's next? I would love to talk about Indigo because he is insanely talented when it comes to artistry and this was a really large letdown. You guys, I had a hard time looking at him because I could see he agreed with every critique we had. He was which mortified. At least he knows he did wrong. You're right. I don't know, something psyched him out because he's got the skill set. I do love the Band-Aid and the Kawaii stuff. I think it is really, really cute. And his facial contouring was really good. He could bounce back and grow from it. He had a great yeah. attitude about it. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Let's talk about Ashley next. This look was so cool. Beautiful. Oh. The application, her skill set is there. She sat down and went with her first idea. And went. Went Which was hard. great. I like that about her. I think she's very confident as a makeup artist. We were in walkthrough and I said, what, do you, what have you done with drag? She's like, I've never really done it. She's like, I've hosted a few drag balls. I'm like, okay, that's more than dabbling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know about this one. Delusion. Were you gagged, Norvito, when she came out? I was, but I've seen it before. It's Avatar. I think it was too monochromatic. I really wanted that pop. I just wish she would have stood out more. I think she wants to play safe, even though she's otherworldly. All right, let's move on to our right. last and final. Benny. It's so cool. It's like acid brats. I'm obsessed. I wish that the symmetry was better. I wish that the application was a little bit cleaner. This was a little messy. It was a little messy. Yeah. Right. I love the concept, right. but it's messy. I mean, sometimes we love people even though they're messy. <laughs> I literally, how do we fire her if she's already on set? <laughs> Somebody please inform me. Who gonna check me, boo? <laughs> I think that we have officially made our decision then. 
Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and send them to the video lab so I can let them know how they did. Hi, Ashley. Hi, James. Your extraterrestrial look was out of this world. Congratulations, you are the winner of today's elimination challenge. Wow, thank you, James. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we are so excited to see more. You're on to next week. Thank you. First. <laughs> Hi, Benny. Hey. Hi, James. The judges and I loved your Neon Club Kid look, even with the flowers. It's been really incredible to see your personality blossom. You're on to next week. Thank you so, so, so much. It's Brittany, bitch. You're here. I'm so happy. I told you. I need to stop overthinking. I know. That's four times in a row now. <sighs> Hi, Kaylin. Hi, James. I'm not going to lie to you. I was very, very worried about the direction of your look. This is your first time doing drag, and you took a major, major risk. Yeah. But it paid off. You're on to next week. Thank you so much, James. Oh, oh I need to like touch the ground. Oh. Yes. Is white. Come over to us, come over. We need to hug you. You guys. Oh. I was really freaking out for some reason. <laughs> I definitely feel like I am in jeopardy of going home. I cannot go home on a drag transformation challenge. Hi, Indigo. Hey. It's Kaylin. Hey. You're here. Oh You're on the way. You're here. <laughs> I wanted to come and talk to you. Unfortunately, in comparison to the other contestants today, the judges and I have decided that your look was the weakest and we have to send you home. I need you to not be too hard on yourself because you are so insanely talented. It's like, it's beyond. I'm so proud of what you've done so far in this competition. Although you did not win this challenge today or the competition, I want to make it so clear to you, Indigo. I do think you have what it takes to be a star and I'm so excited to see what you have to offer. <sighs> At least I went home a queen. Yes, that is the attitude to have. Oh my God, give me a hug. Oh, <gasps> Love you too. Okay, before I send you home, let's go ahead and sign off together. Okay? okay. Right to the camera. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching Instant Influencer episode two. I'm going here with Indigo. You guys, he is such an incredibly talented artist and you have to go check him out. Where can they find you? At Indigo to Hell on Instagram and on YouTube. See you next time. Bye, Bye. sisters. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of Instant Influencer. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below to show the show your love and support. Also click that subscribe button and finally click that bell icon so you get notification every time I upload a brand new episode. If you liked any of the looks that you saw today and you're feeling inspired and you wanna recreate them, make sure you tag me, tag the show, and finally hashtag Instant Influencer because I'll be reposting some of my favorites. See you next week.